out what DJ Swiss said about Sheikh Gumi that sparked reactions online. DJ Swiss asked a question about Sheikh Gumi, who has been the negotiator between bandits, government, and recently the parents of kidnapped students. The question asked by DJ Swiss concerning the cleric has generated several comments from Nigerians. He asks, is it that Gumi is a computer program designed to wind us occasionally, or we are in a matrix where Gumi's program's mission is to embed this, this misop code so that we sympathize with terrorists is DSS a children's game? Is the government Ludo? Nigeria can make someone mad. This statement was coming after the interview granted by the Sheikh by AIT where he reveals some information regarding the bandits as he gives reasons why he believes the bandits are fighting while pleading the government to pay the Greenfield student kidnappers what they requested for before time is too late. To comment to what is going on, the Gumi himself, I believe he is speaking on behalf of the student kidnapped. And I believe that it is a very good thing, you know, for the first time, we have somebody who take, I mean, who took matters to the federal government, who notified federal government that this is what is happening. You must do this, you must do that. I think I commend his effort for taking that action and take the report to the federal government. Now the federal government now know that students of the state school has been kidnapped and they need to be released and the amount they needed is 100 million naira but the way cleric gumi presented the whole things is what is confusing the nigeria how can you say that 100 million naira is too much that the bandits cannot carry it away you you are just reasoning your side you have not reason the side of the bandits. The bandits are not children. They are not lay men. They are trained men. And they have programmed themselves what they are going to do as soon as the money reaches their hand. Do you think a fool or an untrained or illiterate person will ask such amount of money? Do you think before they got into such an act, they have not mapped out or have not planned what to do. They have planned how they will do everything. What the bandits or Boko Arams are doing is not to do the map out everything. Everything has been programmed and they know how they operate. They know the day to operate and they know when to operate. So those people, they are not children. So talking about what Gumi has said, I think it's a child's play that the money is too big that they cannot run away with the money, that they should just pay the money into the account first, so that when they release the children, government will begin to pursue them. Now, my question is, does government know the bandits, or does Gumi himself know the bandits? Did he know them? So, I do not know why he keep on insisting that government should pay such amount of money so that those students can be released. Like I said before, it's a good thing because the parents of the state children are worried. They cannot sleep day and night. You know, if you are a parent, you understand what I'm talking about. It's a worrisome situation, but it is an eyesore that the government of today does not have plan how they will tackle such an issue. It is an eyesore today that criminals has overpowered the country called Nigeria during the time of President Muhammad Buhari. Because we have not felt the impact of the government. The only 
the, the only thing or the only situation where the, where the impact of government is felt is when something happened to Hausa and Fulani headsmen. Then President Mohamed Bari will deploy an army to destroy those people that touch them. If Fulani headsmen make a statement, they will be free. Nobody will ask them any question. If Hausa person do anything, they are free. Nobody ask them any question. But if other tribe venture to do anything, I'm telling you, they will deploy an army or policemen against the person and make sure that they arrest the person to the core. So that is what is going on in our country. So right now, the way Gumi is saying a thing is very suspicious. I don't know if he, is, if he have anything related with them. I do not know where he got his information. So he should be very careful the way he speaks so that people will not begin to suspect him as having hand with them. And again, now, the, 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 student, the, the student that has been kidnapped, they were not first student kidnapped. Nobody took the matter seriously, especially if Christians are kidnapped. I believe the reason why Gumi is taking this matter seriously is because maybe majority of them might be Muslim. You see, this is what we are talking about. Who is not a human being? In this country, we are all human beings. If the federal government treats everybody equally, I tell you, nobody will agitate him for this or that. It is because there have been oppression, marginalization, and victimization. That is why things are getting out of hand. Now, again, I want the federal government to note something that a, an independent country, eh, an independent country should know what to do when any situation happens. This thing that happened to this student, if it is the other developed country, I tell you, in two hours or three hours, they will get those children out of those captivity. But it is an eyesore that this thing has happened. It, it, it has happened maybe over one week now. These children are still there. Government has not done anything. Even when the, 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 uh, maybe even when Gumi are crying that this and that is happening, government feel unconcerned. This is this this is the country we are. So I uh, will advise the government to speed up, uh, 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 to speed up and do their best so that those children will come out of captivity. Because I tell you, if you don't do something, you know, those, uh, I, don't, I am not advising the government to go into negotiation with terrorists, but sometimes you have to negotiate with them because the life of human beings are in their hands and they can do them anything. So it is very, very important that government should rise up at this point in time and do something.